This video is to go over building Java programs self-check 9.10 through the Practice It website. This um, is a, a check of see if you understand how inheritance affects assignment and creation of objects. So I've drawn a little chart here, uh, similar to their table nine, uh, figure 9.2 in the book, showing you the superclass vehicle here, and then it's subclassing a car. So the car extends the vehicle car is a vehicle and then it also extends it further with an SUV which is a car and they don't list what the methods are here but I want to try to add a couple methods here because it's important to, um, to understand really why it is that you can only create an object and put it into um, assign it into a superclass okay you can't take a superclass and assign it into a subclass. So um, let's say cars. So we got vehicles. The vehicles include, you know, motorcycles, uh, lawn tractors, uh, anything with an engine, right? So cars are a little bit more refined than vehicles in general. So I'm going to say that there's um, a radio method in a car that maybe will give you the name of the radio or channel or something like that. And then SUVs, of course. Cars and SUVs blur today, but one thing about SUVs is they generally have a towing capacity. So I'll put towing here. All right, so this towing method doesn't exist on the car object, and this radio method doesn't exist on the vehicle object. The vehicle object probably has things that are common to all vehicles. Let's say it's got the number of wheels, and it's got maybe the number of cylinders. I guess, actually, that's probably not 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 a good thing that now that we've got electric cars. But you know, you get the idea, okay? Things that they're going to be common to all of all these um, objects. Okay, so the rule is you can create an uh, an item of the subclass. Okay, so a car, and you can assign it into a vehicle. You can create an SUV and assign it into the uh, car. Now, why is that? That's because if we want a vehicle okay and we bring a car in everything that is a vehicle method will be in the car they all exist in the car and the reason why you can't do the opposite so let's say I create a vehicle object and then I try to assign it into a car object so that would be saying uh, be very clear so if I try to do a car C equals new vehicle you can't do that. The reason why is because it, this is going to create a car object. This car objects have a radio method on it. Okay, so if I take the new vehicle method, uh, new vehicle object, okay, and I stick it in here, what happens when I call the radio method? It's going to blow up. Well, of course, it doesn't blow. It, it's not going to let you blow because it's the compiler is not even going to let you do it. But that's why you can't do it. Similarly, if I tried to do a SUV S equals new car or new vehicle. Okay, this is not going to work. Why? Because this object, an SUV, is going to assume it's, it's got an S dot towing. So does the car object have an S dot towing? No. Does the vehicle object have an S dot towing? No, it doesn't work. So what you can do is you can create a vehicle, uh, a car, and then assign it into a vehicle. So vehicle V equals new car, new SUV. That's fine, okay? This is the subclass. This guarantees that all the functionality of a vehicle will be available through these objects. Okay, so the this works okay these do not work so as you look through these make sure you uh, you try to evaluate this kind of thing okay so whenever it's a subclass assigning it into a superclass you're fine okay but if you try try to take a a sub a superclass and then assign it into a subclass that's not allowed so if you found this useful please like and subscribe